I'm Michael Malik, CEO of RML Group, and this is the RML Short Wheelbase. For nearly 40 years, we've been delivering not only world championship winning motorsport products for our customers, but also some of the most technically advanced high performance engineering products as well. Three years ago, we decided that we wanted to showcase our ability in a way that we could talk about it to the whole world. That product had to showcase our trademarks of quality and precision engineering and our world leading whole vehicle engineering capability. But we also wanted to create an emotive product and one that celebrated two things a simple and beautiful aesthetic and a pure and organic driving experience. The short wheelbase's classic lines reimagined car design from the golden age of motoring. Beautiful proportions and simple clean lines but brought up to date with modern technology, bespoke lighting designed in-house and an exquisite attention to detail throughout. A key part of the brief for this car was to create something that was actually usable. Something that I could drive from here to Le Mans and get out and still be able to walk when I got to the other end. So that meant that the package was defined around myself at six foot four, plus space for a helmet in case of any track use. That's given us a spacious cabin with everything you'd expect from a modern car. So we have electrically adjustable seats and an adjustable steering column so we can package drivers from five foot to six foot six. Air conditioning that's been specified to function at 50 degree ambience in the Middle East. A hidden seven inch touchscreen that will show smartphone connectivity and also the reversing camera. And all of that wrapped in a bespoke and beautiful interior. So like the exterior, everything you see and touch on the interior is bespoke and follows the same design theme. We had a no plastic mantra, meaning all touch points are either leather, glass or aluminium. And even the air vents are machined from billet aluminium to ensure we got the quality we were targeting. The short wheelbase is powered by a 5.5 litre naturally aspirated V12, which outputs around 480 horsepower. And that's mated to a six speed manual transmission. The short wheelbase was never intended to be a top trumps car but we've still created something that will hit 60 in around four seconds and go on to a top speed of about 180 miles an hour. We've optimized the airflow with a thorough CFD program, mapping the air through and around the car to meet the cooling requirements and ensure a good stable aero balance. That means we know the car will be stable as it hits its top speed and can still supply the cool air needed to the bits you can't see. But this car isn't about high speed autobarning. We wanted to create something with character that you could enjoy at national speed limits. That means engineering in a supple ride and plenty of feedback to the driver. To hit our dynamic targets, we needed to ensure that the full carbon fiber body was immensely stiff and strong to ensure a good stable platform. We then worked with our partners at Olin's to develop bespoke dampers, working in conjunction with a double wishbone suspension. But it needs to sound great while we're doing that. So we've specifically engineered the noise we want for the bespoke exhaust system. Simulating the whole air path has allowed us to define the noise characteristics that we want while meeting the legislative requirements. The car you see here is our Car Zero, our validation prototype, and it's about to go off and undergo our industry standard durability program, much the same as our cars for any of our OEM customers would go through. So while Car Zero is going through its final sign-offs, we're starting the build of the first customer cars. We'll be building 30 cars over the next two and a half years, and the first ones will be delivered in the summer of this year.